Hey guys, welcome to the 181st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our capture generator project. And really, what we have to do in this tutorial is draw all the shapes that will be around and on the string that we drew in the previous tutorial to make it so it's harder for bots and computer programs to uh, read that text. All right. So since we're going to be drawing multiple shapes here, we're just going to be using a for statement. So we're going to say for int i equals zero, while i is less than, let's say six, and we're just going to want to increment i by one each time so that it actually only does six. All right, and we don't want it to just draw only a rectangle or only a circle, so we're going to have it randomly select which one we choose. So we're going to say int j equals ran dot next and then the minimum will be zero and if it's zero it's going to be either a rectangle or a square and if it's uh, one it's either going to be um, a circle or an oval and we're gonna have to put two as the maximum because if we put one as the maximum it will always go for zero it, it'll it'll never actually get the maximum it will always go one lower all right and now we're just going to say if j equals zero then we're going to be drawing a rectangle so we're going to say g dot draw rectangle and the pen that we're going to be using is the pen that we created up here so we're just going to say p is our pen and then the rectangle that we want to draw in we're just going to want to randomly select this so it's not always drawing a rectangle in the same spot so we're going to say uh, ran dot next and for the minimum we're just going to put zero and for the maximum we're just going to want to put about half of what this uh, thing's width is and that would be 111 so we're just going to put 111 right there for the maximum and then for the uh, width or the y location of this uh, rectangle we're going to put uh, ran.next so it's randomly selected on the y axis as well zero for the minimum for that and about half the height which would be I don't know like 60 I'll say so 60 and then for the width and the actual height of this uh, thing we're just gonna have it be the same so it never really gets off the screen and it should be at least some of them should be on top of that uh, text string alright and now we're just gonna wanna see if j is equal to 1 so we're gonna say right here else oops else if um, j equals 1 then we want it to draw an ellipse so we can just go ahead and basically copy this code right here and just say draw ellipse instead of draw a rectangle so we'll say draw ellipse all right and now that it actually does draw these shapes we want it to reset the color or select a random color for the pen tool each time so that all the shapes are not the same color so we're going to say p.color equals, and then we're just going to copy this code right up here, because this just basically generates a random color. All right. There we go. So now let's just go ahead and test this out. So we're just going to hit debug right here and click start. And as you can see, we have shapes all over that um, string right there. So this makes it harder for a computer to read it. And it really doesn't make it that hard for a human to read. You can tell that's like P1HFMC. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.